Ladies, I would like to welcome you all to the 2017 Dodge Challenger. So I've been driving around for the past week and a half, rented in Florida. Cue the AC. Because it is so hot here right now, I tell you. Absolutely boiling hot for an October. So I rented this, I actually got a free car in with my holiday but I decided to upgrade it to one of these because I've wanted one of these. I wanted to experience what it's like in a real new age muscle car, I'm gonna call this. This being the 2017, it has the 5.7 litre Hemi up front, 375 brake horsepower claimed through the Dodge website. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do before I even pull away is engage sport mode. Now, <laughs> sport mode means it's louder. That's about it, it holds on to a gear longer. That's about it, there is no more that is produced from the car in sport mode than a slightly more sensitive throttle pedal and more noise, a lot more noise. So the original car is actually quite loud as a standard car. When I first started this up in the parking garage that I'd actually got this from, it was ridiculously loud. I was so surprised that this was a standard car producing this much loud. Right, so, second gear. Up to around 50 mile an hour. Now, it doesn't really tear your face off in, you know, ascent. So I've driven things a damn sight quicker, um, more agile. But this isn't the idea. It's supposed to be like a little bit more silly, I think. Um, you do have manual mode though, so you can tip it down. So that's third into second and you know this this automatic gearbox is actually quite quick i think so if we drop it into second so it does hold on to a gear if you want to in manual mode doesn't limit a bash though which is a bit of a shame i'd like to hear some v8 limiter if i'm honest but i do think it changes gear quite quickly considering what it is so it's quite quick on its acceleration it's quite quick on its delivery of the next gear as well now to upgrade this car we'll go through a couple of figures with you it was actually six hundred and fifty dollars before tax to actually upgrade my car for two weeks i found that as a bit of a deal if i'm honest i thought you know converting that back into pounds someone in the comment section will convert it say it was six hundred and fifty dollars say around three four hundred pounds i thought that was a pretty good deal for two weeks Okay, you could probably get a better deal somewhere else, and I did actually drop the price down from around 900 when I initially said I wanted this exact car. Now, why did I want a Hemi? Why did I want a Challenger? Why did I want all of this? I have wanted to experience a new age muscle car for quite a long time, and this being the one that I personally love. I love the looks, I love the, you know, brutishness, if that's even a word, of this car. I really, really enjoy the simplicity as well. I enjoy the simplicity of the American engineering behind one of these. You just stick a big engine in it, it's massive, and you just cruise around. So guys, let's have a quick look around this 2017 Dodge Challenger RT. Now, why did I go for this car? I've already sort of explained why. Looks wise, I absolutely love the way these cars look. Now, video doesn't do it justice, but the actual size of these cars is hilarious. The huge sort of markings coming down like that, very muscle car-like, keeping in with sort of style of the you know generations before. This car being the RT, it's, it just looks a bit better. You've got better wheels. I think it's got a bit more of a, a splitter at the bottom there, but obviously no front number plate is really really cool as well i do love the whole front number plate missing look one thing to point out the brakes are terrible they are not very good so that's one thing to point out this rt spoiler i really like it's actually got the uh reversing camera there as well i wish they'd sort of blended it into the black bit not quite sure why they put it up there but there's very good reasons for that i'm sure the led rear lights this being the facelift as well led rear lights on this one coming down you have the exhaust just there it's got a really good presence and I, I genuinely love the look of these cars if you pitch this next to a Mustang which I actually met with a subscriber who had a Mustang and he uh, 
put it next to this and it just didn't look the same. The Mustang is a great car for the UK and I think, you know, Europe us having it and being able to buy it from a dealership, but this is just shouts America. It's so much bigger, so much more sort of out there and just broader in every way. Coming inside though, it's actually got keyless entry, this car, which is quite a cool thing, but you've got big um, pockets down here. You've got uh, more than enough space for your drinks, drink there, drink there. Um, really, really weird thing here, is we if you think of that that means the passenger can't actually get into this cubby hole which I don't quite understand that this having the car play as well so when you put your phone in obviously I've got my phone um, lead there for the iPhone everything comes up in front of you so your um, apps work your maps work as well and your Spotify goes onto the car and I think that's the biggest selling point of this pack especially is if you're going to get one of these get it with the car play this being a Floridian car as well it has got the cloth seats I wouldn't go for leather in this climate you know if you do have leather it's going to be a lot hotter and stickier so I prefer the cloth in this country but if I was going to have one of these in the UK it would definitely be with leather and coming under the bonnet we'll have a under the bonnet shot for you guys the 5.7 litre Hemi V8 uh, lifted from you know various other dodges you get this in the Ram many others as well but the Hemi engine is the one to go for with the RT pack I think Realistically, if you've never been to Florida, if you've never been to America, what you're going to experience is huge roads everywhere. The cornering is slightly lacking on this car, I'm not going to lie to you, but it makes up for it for being a fantastic cruiser. Everywhere you're going in America, especially I feel, you cruise everywhere. You're doing, you know, 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. You don't really need something that corners very well. And I'm saying that very openly because I feel that that's not the target demographic the market of this car the market is what you see in front of you is long winding big roads no real cornering involved and just big open spaces so let's talk about what was on everybody's lips mpg and actually fueling this car now i've had it for a week and a half i've done around 1500 miles in it which i think's you know pretty good going realistically i've filled up about three or four times so far now, although the metric system is a little bit out with MPG and MPG here in the UK, but someone can sit in the comment section and actually go through exactly what I'm about to say and figure it out in UK terms. So basically, it's getting 17 MPG on the motorway. That's cruising at 60 mile an hour, say. That's pretty horrendous in my opinion. So that's fine. I can get on board with that because to fill this car up from a complete you know, low range, so you, you know, you've got about 10 to 15 miles range in this car, it's around $39. Petrol being $2.39 per gallon, this took around 13 and a half, so I'm assuming it's a 14 gallon tank, I can only assume. So if someone wants to write all that down and work out exactly how much this costs, um, how much, you know, MPG it's really getting per um, your you know input in petrol is another matter all I'm finding is it's getting 17 mpg and it's around 39 pounds 39 dollars to fill this car up which I think is a bit of a bargain really no wonder everyone's got a v8 here but the sport mode I must admit the sport mode does make it a bit more alive it does take it from a casual cruiser into a bit more of a muscle car I think because that's the gist of this car it's a muscle car you want it to make all the silly noises you want it to you know make you giggle like a little schoolgirl inside that's the sort of idea of a muscle car and i don't think a lot of people especially in the uk don't get on board that that's the idea they're not really supposed to go around corners they're not really supposed to be that fast i don't think they're just supposed to be a bit stupid and i appreciate stupid i love stupid i most of my cars that i've ever had have been pretty stupid and that's why i appreciate this the 17 mpg the fact it is the size of a house going down the road and it hasn't really got any seats in the back either makes it quite funny in that sense because I don't understand the idea of having this in the UK I, I would love one don't get me wrong but I, I can't really see it being that feasible and um, the boots massive don't get me wrong and it's a, it's a great idea and I love muscle cars I like stupid but the practical side the your head screwed on side absolutely terrible it's a terrible terrible car for that side but you don't buy one of these especially in the uk with your head screwed on you buy it because you love cars you buy it because you don't really care you buy it because you want to drop a gear and 
listen to that V8 Hemi absolutely scream its head off. And that's what I can appreciate the most about this car is the stupidity. I love American cars. I've just looked on the Dodge website. This exact car, I'm assuming without the car play, although I don't think that's an optional extra, I couldn't really check. The Dodge website is very funny. I couldn't really find out, but this starts at $32,995. That's a bargain. I really genuinely think that's a bargain. You couldn't get anything. Well, you could get a Mustang, but I don't think the Mustang's as exciting as this. I think this is like the right amount of stupid. You don't want it to be, you know, good at braking and good on the MPG. You just want it to be a bit stupid if you're gonna buy one of these. I appreciate this so much because of stupid. <laughs> now, the 10 year old Jamie has actually got the biggest smile on his face whatsoever right now. He is so happy that he's driving a Dodge Challenger through the streets of Florida. I absolutely love this place. I love the climate, I love the people, I love the sort of atmosphere as well, and I love the cars. I, I am a massive, massive American car fan, as you guys may know, and this is like one of my dreams ticked off my list. It really is. I'm yet to see a Hellcat. I want to experience a Hellcat next. If you're in the UK and you've got a Hellcat, hats off to you, by the way, I would absolutely love one, but I want to experience it. Please take me out in it. Get me involved in a Hellcat. I want to have a go. The Demon, another level. If you've got a Demon, oh my God, please email me. I need to come and experience that car with you. If you've got anything like this, just email me. I want to experience it with you. So guys, I hope you like this video of the Dodge Challenger RT that I rented while I'm out here in Florida. If you did like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all on the next video. Cheers, guys. Ooh.